Hey everybody, my name is Luminestra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in continuation of building a Twitch channel, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Twitch panels. So what exactly are panels? Panels allow people to be able to click on the link or read a bit about you or the information that you want to put in there. A lot of people also have donation pages where the panel clicks into their donations. So when people come to your channel, they either are going to click on your about page or they're going to be able to see you live. When they scroll down, they will see your Twitch panels. Obviously right here, it's empty because I'm going to show you how to download panels, how to make panels, and then how to upload them onto your Twitch account. Uh, you'll see here, this is your actual bio, so I'm not going to touch that today, but for our next video, I will be talking about the description, the bio of your channel. For now, once again, we're going to focus on the panels. There's a lot of ways to make Twitch panels. There's free versions, there's paid versions. Heck, you can even hire designers to create your own panels for you. What I recommend if you're a new streamer, use the free stuff. If you're going to save on stuff but still look professional in doing so, I would highly recommend this program. It's called Nerd or Die. You don't have to download anything at the start. It's easy. It's free to use, which is amazing. And it is very customizable, which I'm really impressed with. I, for one, pay into the Streamlabs Prime. I have access to different panels and a lot of free templates. But for now, I'm going to focus on the free stuff. So the link is going to be down below. What you need to do is you need to come to this program. You can scroll down. It'll tell you, see Twitch light and dark. You can kind of see what they look like. Rip mixer, unfortunately, don't worry about that. You can save the stuff. You can load the settings. You just need to sign in or create an account. This is so cool. They have such a large variety of customization. I was really impressed that this is free. So first and foremost, you're going to want to make yourself a... Uh, hello this is me about me if you have merch you can make a merch panel you can do donation links but let's just say like a hello so this is going to be your panel to introduce yourself uh you can change the font as you can see you can change the alignment you can change the height the font i'm going to let you guys play around with this what's important is this icon picker I like when it's clean looking, when there's an icon with the panel, with also with written words. So for me, it's important that I get a nice icon with it. What I like about this program, again, is that you can actually upload your own, which is really, really neat. Here, let's just say about me, you want to make it, I don't know, hmm, here. Do you see that your icon is generated immediately? Next, you can change up the shadowing if you want some shadowing, which I think is really cool. Once again, you guys can kind of play around with this. You can change up the borders. You can see that you can make more of a rounded shape or you can keep it the rectangular shape. Next feature that I think is absolutely incredible and very crucial is it allows you to change all of the colors. This will allow you to match your themes on Twitch. So please, you know, give her heck, figure out what works for you guys. Make sure it's, you know, it works. It's, it's cool looking, it matches your colors that you want for your channel. And then the last thing you can do is just change the positioning of the borders, the text, everything that you want, the logos, the icons. Once you are done and you say, yeah, it looks good on light, yeah, it looks good on dark, it is as simple as clicking save panel image. That's it. Now you have your Twitch icons, you have your, your images that you're going to put for your panels. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go and click on the right icon and you're going to go to your channel. What you're going to do is you can either go to your about section or you can just click on your name and it will bring you to the same page. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to hit edit panels. So once you hit edit panels, you're going to see that Twitch gives you a lot of free options for different extensions that you can use. I'm not going to get into extensions right now. We're just going to focus on the panels that you're developing. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this plus sign and you're going to hit add in text or image panel. Then you're, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the add image and you're going to go into where you downloaded this. So this is the one that we did. Of course, you can see that I've had a couple of different ones. Uh, let's just say you want to cut stuff out, you can, but Nerd or Die gives you an exact size. It works perfect, so you just can click Done. Now, if you want to keep that, you can submit it. If you want to remove it because you made a mistake, you can hit the Remove button, but don't think that just because you've put it here, it just saves automatically because if you unedit your panels, it is gone. You have to absolutely make sure that you are submitting this panel. 
Once you hit the submit button, give it a few seconds. And then once you unclick the edit panels, because then you want to lock it in place. There it is. There is your first panel. So now you have your first panel. What's cool about the panels is that you can add descriptions and say, hey, I'm new to Twitch. Make sure to follow me. And don't mind my misspelling. And then you can hit submit. And then once you close your panels, you'll see, hey, there's a little bit of text down below. That's how people can know a bit more about you. So now that you got a bit of information, I want to show you the next step of the importance of having Twitch panels. Let's just say that somebody wants to create a donation panel. So people want to be able to donate to your stream. What you're going to do is you're just going to hit this plus button. You're going to add a new panel. I like to put always images for myself. Some people don't like to put images. I'm not quite sure why. I guess it's just a personal preference. So let's just say that you want this donation tab. You need to then click where you want them to get link to. So if you wanted to go to um, a charity or if you wanted to go to your PayPal, however you want to do those donations, you have to put the links in this channel. So this is my main channel page. This is Luminestra's page. This is where I live stream. And here you can see that I've got different clickable links. So we have merged. You can join my Discord, different social media platforms. So this is just a great way for me to be able to tell people a little bit about myself. And if they want to support the channel, they want to support my community, following me on different social medias, then they have an opportunity to do so. P.S. guys, if you're wondering what exactly is this countdown and what is this sound alert, I'm going to be talking about that in another video. These are actually extensions that Twitch provides that you can use. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I really want you guys to consider subscribing to the channel. I am trying to grow this community. I want you to be a part of this community. So please make sure to subscribe for more Warzone content, some great clips from my Twitch channel, and obviously a lot more tutorials on Twitch because I want to share with you guys what I've learned over the past four years of streaming. Thanks, guys.